Hi, it's Paul from Hobby Link International. Don't forget, use the uh, link down there to subscribe and click on the bell to notify yourself of uh, all the future videos from myself and from Kenny. Today, you're gonna have a quick look through the pages uh, just to show you the contents of the U-Boat in focus Latest Edition, Edition 19. Okay, so this is edition number 19 of U-Boot in Focus in German and English. Um, basically, it's full of un previously unpublished photographs. Um, uh, not going to show you every single page, otherwise you, know, won't, you won't buy it. Um, but I'll just show you some edited highlights and show you um, what's in here. So, to start off, um, there's the contents, if you want to pause the video and have a quick read of exactly what's in here. Um, a couple of photographs following, um, basically they have a, like a series of commanders, usually one showing them at work and one showing them uh, neat and tidy. And the difference between the two is sometimes pretty striking. Um, this one on the front cover, U201. Um, Basically, uh, information here is birth next to the pontoon ship. Um, and it also bears the coat of arms of a partner city of Remscheid, as you can see there. And that's something that Alex Axel talks about in their editorial. Um, as he mentions, there's a lengthy break. Basically, ed ed edition 18 was quite a while ago. Um, Basically, COVID has slowed things down. Also, they've got a um, been working on a book on U522, which um, I'll be showing you a few pages of later. I've got to read it first. Um, but what a project they're working on is um, a lot of U-boats sort of twinned with German cities during the war. Um, so here there were at least 138 U-boats which had a sponsorship from a German city or an Austrian city. Um, but after the war, all the cities were, you know, basically, uh, no, we never had a partnership with any U-boats, um, but a lot of them did. And they've managed to find out details about a lot of them. I'll talk more about that towards the end of this one. Anyway, Reader's Forum, um, usually where people um, have photographs in their collections, which follow on from photo sets that have been in here, like this one here, camouflage type two U-boats from uh, before the war. Um, there was a, in a previous issue, there was an article on those and somebody had a, this photograph in their collection, so they shared it. And you also get corrections as well when somebody f has a photograph or evidence to show that um, there's something, uh, there's more information about something. So that's that bit. Um, more of the um, readers forum and then go through different there's several pages on different types of u-boats and interesting photographs showing them like this one here uh, u-28 a type 7a boat um, no it's not sinking basically they've um, um, ballasted it to get the torpedo tubes out the water so they can inspect them you see here the doors are open and there's a section on type 2 B's and C's and basically interesting articles on several U different types of U-boats in there in a few pages. Uh, Conning Towers is another sort of regular section. This one's about uh, U-955 and the teddy bear from the Reaper Barn. A um, few differences to this one to how they're no, you know, normally, as we saw on the cover, it's a, a metal plaque that's um, uh, bolted in place. This one was a painting, only lasted for a little while. And it's the story behind where it came from, how it got there. And next chunk is, there's a pretty big section here, U-94 in action with Wolf Pack Hecht, um, including it was the first capture of an allied merchant ship captain. Um, some of you might be familiar at a certain time, there was an order to basically, if you can, without risking the U-boat, um, take prisoners 
from the officers, captains, um, radio officers of merchant ships. So basically, it's, it's not just um, basically it's a whole section of one particular um, cruise. Here they are leaving. I think this is. Um, it doesn't say exactly where things, um, but they're leaving port, um, and then it goes through a whole thing. There's pictures of refueling at sea from another U-boat, uh, not a Type 14 though, um, and all the way back, all the way through, sinking ships, um, photographs of all sorts of things that happened on the on that cruise, all the way back to coming back into port again at the end. And then the next section is um, based on an unusual story about a diver who got a, a gift book. Basically, um, this one is U-181, which went through to the Indian Ocean. Um, I think this is actually just somebody diving in harbour. Um, but basically, the diver was over the side of the ship fixing something um, on the rudder while there was sharks swimming around. So the crew decided it's a good idea to let's try and catch one of the sharks. And they did indeed catch one and I'm sure shark appeared on the menu. And in the end, uh, the diver who, it took him a couple of days to get to get the thing fixed. Um, he got a, a book from, because the, the captain of the U-boat later wrote a book and he gave him an autographed copy. Um, other one, um, it's a colour photograph of the uh, bridge watch on a U boat. Uh, a longer story about um, U 970 was sunk in the Bay of Biscay. Um, that's U 970 earlier, and it's the story of how they were rescued by um, a seaplane from the Luftwaffe. Basically the whole story of how they came to be sunk, um, how the survivors got rescued, um, basically a whole ton of photographs of it all. Um, there you go. This is actually a glass photograph of a section on um, napping on the wave deflector. That's the captain there. Um, I remember earlier I mentioned sponsor cities, so um, here's there's an article on sponsor cities. Um, there, the matter of sponsorship and experiment and reader participation. Uh, so far, what is it? They said 138 such links have been discovered um, between U boats and, and cities. Um, and the reasons for many sponsor cities are, are not known, often just that they existed. Um, there's the list of cities that they know about. So if you know of any others, uh, get in touch with the publisher. Um, obviously, it looks like they're going to do something with this list at some point. So um, I'm going to take it from there. And, and on the back cover, there's a book that was given to, I think this was given to the crew members. Um, and there's pictures. This is U155 and their sponsor city of Schrelm. Um, they visited Schrelm October 4th and 5th, 1942. Um, there's the captain and his wife. Uh, I think there's that's something that's um, notable in Schrelm. It was destroyed in the war but later rebuilt after the war. So it looks about the same again, about the same today. So that's it. Um, What's that? 40, 50 pages basically. Um, if U boats are your thing, then this is a series. It doesn't rehash, you know, things that are already known, as you see in so many books, just the same information, just you know, reorganized and republished. What they do is, as it says, it's all unpublished photographs, it's new stories put together into articles. Um, basically, sort of, you can think of it as the the sort of cutting edge research in into U-boats. Uh, best place to get these is direct from the publishers. Um, I'll put a link underneath uh, the video. Um, 
Yeah, and you can also get them cheaper if you subscribe to a few issues at a time.